So this question is on game theory, Nash equilibrium. You remember in class I used to name it Satya Nash. Okay, that way. That uh, uh, in a world with information asymmetry, where people are not aware of what the competitor will do, people tend to take actions which are actually not good for both of them. Okay. Anyways, let's leave those theme behind and let's focus on the table. So you are given the payoff table, the profit that each party will gain depending upon what other party will do. Okay. And the way to think about is this way. Suppose we are company XYZ. So you focus on the blue decisions. Company XYZ, we are company XYZ. Now we have to take a decision whether we should charge a low price or high price depending upon what ABC will do. So case one, suppose ABC will charge a low price. So you are supposed to look at the first row first row abc will charge a low price okay look at the first row i hope you understand what is row left to right low row so if abc will charge a low price then look at the two blue profits for xyz the profits are 90 or zero the profits are 90 or zero so which one is higher 90 that means if abc is going to charge a low price xyz should definitely charge a low price okay low price is locked in for xyz now case two suppose abc charges a high price so look at the second row ABC charges a high price. Now, what are the blue figures for XYZ? 450 and 400, which is higher, 450. So, once again, if ABC charges a high price, XYZ should charge a low price. So, irrespective of whatever ABC does, XYZ should charge a low price. XYZ should charge a low price. Okay. Maybe the answer could be derived from this only. Okay. No, because maybe uh, if we go for option number uh, C, in that case, we have not decided still for ABC. Okay. So for XYZ, it's decided that XYZ will charge a low price. So the answer can be either A or C. A or C. Now, let's now decide for ABC. So when we decide for ABC, case 1, XYZ will maintain a low price. We are thinking column wise. XYZ will maintain a low price. Now look at the two profit figures, the black figures for ABC. They are 60 and 400, which is higher, 400. So that means if XYZ charges a low price, ABC will charge a high price. Okay. Similarly, if XYZ charges a high price, the last column, then the figures for ABC are 0 and 400. Oh, sorry, sorry. The figures for ABC are 100 and 600, 100 and 600. So which one is higher? 600. That means once again, ABC should charge a high price. So the conclusion is that ABC should charge a high price, XYZ should charge a low price. It is that box in which we have 400 and 450. So that is the Nash equilibrium. Option number A.